Hmm. What does that mean? Number, shutter speed, aperture, focal length, exposure. 4, 1 to 50th, 5.6, 50, plus 1. When you get your scans back from the lab, how are they named? Usually just a bunch of numbers which is of no use to you. We're here to change that. But hold on. Let's backtrack for a sec. Why? Well, we were frustrated with getting back file names that meant nothing to us. And we're also frustrated that it was difficult to remember what our settings were for a particular shot, especially going wigs for just one roll. And our Nosaflex system solves those issues. We can have data in the file name and can see our settings at a glance. It just involved us recording our metadata. Each click of the camera was followed by a pen on paper recording our settings. And once it became habit, we thought, wait. If we're people that are using this system, surely there's at least one other person in the world who would too. And that leads us to this campaign. But you're now probably asking, why would I need to back this campaign when I've got the system? Right? I could just buy my own notebook and make up my own table to fill in. Great thoughts. And you're right, you can. But let me try to entice you. We want to make an impact in this industry because we really care. We're photographers, filmmakers and creatives. This system is an organisational tool, but also equally as much an educational tool. You can see exactly what your settings were for each shot at a glance, and you know what needs to be done next time to improve your photography. Hello. I'm Josh and I'm half of the team behind Nosaflex and I wanted to jump in here and say a couple of things so that I could clear some stuff up. Okay, let's put this camera down. Hello, hello, hello. Why didn't we make a book first? We really, really wanted to, but we looked into it and the printing, that's not a problem. Designing it, not a problem. Getting it to you is a problem. We don't want the book to be expensive. We want it to be eight or nine dollars Australian. And the problem enters when we have to ship it. Within Australia, it's about $10, not too bad. But when we get to places like the US, UK, even Saudi Arabia, for all you Saudi Arabians out there, it gets to $30 plus. And I don't see the point of putting a product on Kickstarter that is eight or $9 and then someone having to pay three to four times the amount. And we even got up to $60 to get to the US. It's like, not worth it. What's the point? What? Why? So we thought, you know what? Let's do the book at another stage. Let's get this app into people's hands because it's almost going to cost us the same amount of money to get a basic app running than it would be to make the book. Now, I know you've probably got a lot of questions. When is it coming? What other features are going to have? Look, what we want to do at the moment is have the app be super basic. You can record all your settings and then you can export that and it will send you an email with all of your file names that you can copy and paste them into uh, on top of your files. You can read far more in depth below about what we're trying to do and what we want to do, where we want to go with it. So thank you for watching, thank you for considering and hopefully we see this to the end.